What is going on guys? Welcome to TJ Mitchell Films, your one-stop shop for everything Jeep and off-road related content. And this video is episode three of our EJS 2021 prep. And today we are gonna be working on the bed rack on the Gladiator. And let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna be making the majority of this rack out of some one inch, 120 wall aluminum square tube. All right guys, so check it out. This is the base of the rack. As you guys saw, obviously, so 45 to the ends. Got the cross pieces in there. Everything's clamped. Uh, perfectly square so um, as you guys can see too it's not really going to be a very tall rack it's going to be five inches overall pretty simple we're going to go ahead and tack this whole assembly together and then probably add the uh, upper bars So we got the frame fully welded up. I went ahead and welded some tabs uh, on here to hold the bar in. Now the reason for this is so you don't have to pick up uh, like totes or whatever up and over. Uh, I gotta get a pin. You gotta get a pin for the side, but pull out your pin, slide your bar out, and then you can slide whatever you in need um, onto the rack and then close it back up. So. Obviously you gotta get the final hardware, but there you go. Now let's cut the sheet metal and put it in on the bottom. All right guys, so it's actually been a couple days since we started the rack and in prep for EJS and some weather issues. It's raining right now. Um, I ended up just finishing the rack off, not on camera. So I'm gonna show you guys the whole thing and what it looks like, how it functions and why I did, uh, and why I built it, how I built it. Also, um, this video was filmed on a new camera and this section I'm trying the new wireless mic for it. If you think this audio is better than the rest of the video, let me know. Also, if you think the quality of the camera, the picture quality is better, um, let me know down in the comments below. So this is an overview of the rack. As you guys can see, it pretty much covers most of the bed area. Obviously there's a little bit, I couldn't take it all the way out uh, because I how I, I had built the rack before so um, I mean I could have I could have but um, so a little space to get down into here there's not much there so first function of doing it this way is one people can't really see too much I mean you can see in if you're really getting up in here you can see in the bed but you can't really see what's in the bed at first glance and let's pop the tailgate down real quick so you guys can see um, we pretty much have almost the whole bed space here obviously we lost 
two inches of clearance here um, from the two inch tube that runs across. Um, and I was okay losing that. Uh, I can still fit, obviously, uh, what's most likely gonna live down here is stuff I don't need very often and heavy stuff. So like my spare tire will go in the front and then most of my tools I keep in this, uh, in this tote right here. So that will be really nice um, to have most of the weight and stuff. I don't really have to worry too much about the security of um, whatever's down here. It, depending on what it is, it, it'll be really hard for someone to, to get anything out uh, of any totes that are underneath here. And I usually use totes for most, uh, most of my gear storage. So what I don't have is I don't have the pin yet. I have a pin ordered um, for this side, but what I did different on this rack, because before I'd have to pick everything up and over. So um, this is just gonna have a pin, it pulls out like so, and then the bar swings out. So you can, we can set whatever up here, slide it forward and, and whatever, and then just swing this back closed. And uh, once I have the proper pin, it won't just be a bolt, but it's all one inch, 120 wall. I believe I said that earlier, aluminum tube. And this is some 12 gauge uh, aluminum sheet on the top. So it's solid all the way across, nice and light. It's still like half as heavy as the rack I had on here before. So I'm really happy about the weight reduction. All right, guys, this camera is pretty cool. I'll, I'm gonna tell you guys about this camera later, but check this out. I'm just walking over here. Camera turns, faces me. So uh, back here off the deck, so we have about 18 and a half inches overall to the bottom of the tube. And it's a little less, it's more like 18, um, it's more like 18 to the bottom of these bolts. I'm gonna end up cutting the excess of these off. They don't need to be this long. So we can store 18 inches of, of whatever up here. So if you guys can see that, the under on the, the high side of the ridge underneath the bed, it's about 15 and three quarters of an inch of usable storage and 18 on the top. And like I said, all of the totes that I already have already fit underneath here. So everything can fit underneath or up top. Um, also, I do have some uh, tie down points ordered. Um, they should be in and I'll put those on before the trip. We'll update you. I'll let you know how those go in, in the, some of the EJS videos, but I'm gonna put those up on the rack. Here, let's flip you around. I'm going to be putting those on the rack uh, across in various points uh, so I can have some good tie down points. Now I know I could probably just, you know, hook the hook around here, but of the ratchet straps, but I think it's going to just be a little cleaner looking, a little more versatile to have actual, actual proper tie down points. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go along the top or along the inside. I still have to determine that, but. But yeah, so that is the rack. Also, um, for those of you that don't know, I have my ARB twin compressor mounted here, and I can still I can still access the uh, the rocker switch here. So plenty of access there, and. Yeah, the only other thing that I would like to do eventually for this setup is to get some sort of uh, gear uh, deck sliding system. Only because to get the totes or anything that's all the way up in there, I have to climb up in there or, you know, I could tie a little rope to it and just pull stuff in and then shove it in, pull it out, shove it in. So that's not really that big of a deal to me currently. Also, another thing that I'm gonna to have to consider later is if I end up adding a fridge, I don't think I'll be able to put it in the bed. I, I don't know the heights on those. So 
A fridge, freezer, I'm assuming will be taller than this. I don't know. It'd be cool to keep it in the bed. So that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you can see the Easter Jeep Safari trip videos. Um, there should end up being at least five of those videos that are gonna be coming out for at least the five different trails. There'll probably be probably six, maybe even seven videos, depending on what happens while we're there. But I'll give you guys updates on the tent, the rack, um, what to expect going to EJS, what to expect to go to EJS during a pandemic. I've never been to Moab. I've never been to Utah, I don't think, no. So it's gonna be a lot of firsts. I'm super excited. Um, we are running a couple easier trails, a couple harder trails, kind of mixing it up. We're not gonna be there long enough to run everything that I want, but that's also sort of on purpose because I'm gonna to wanna to come back, I already know that. So uh, super excited there. Maybe I'll see some of you guys in Moab. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video.